Hey everyone, this is Elias from RevMatch Media, and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2023 GMC Yukon Denali Ultimate. Now, <laughs> you look at this and you wonder, would Darth Vader drive this SUV? I think so, and we'll see why. Let's get started. We get started in the front and we can see this thing is incredible. There's something different about this Denali that makes it ultimate. <laughs> a couple of things. So this one way you can identify it's an ultimate is we have this black trim. Yes, it is the Vader chrome trim. That's why I said, would Darth Vader wanna drive this? I think so, because it just looks so good. I love the fact that we don't have the, the chrome GMC. We don't have, we have that black chrome, that Vader chrome uh, for the grill. We don't have the super shiny that we'd normally see in a Denali finish. I like this. I, yeah, <laughs> I, I think Vader chrome should be the name for a lot of things, <laughs> but definitely this looks really, really good. Uh, we take a look at the headlights. We have the triple stacked uh, beam LED lights. They look really good. I love this big uh, kind of boomerang or C that we have the bracket designed to it. It looks really good. It really lights up the, the street at night. No issues with that. Uh, we also have the nice um, fog lights LED system down here. Again, with some of that chrome, that Vader, Vader chrome, <laughs> Vader chrome uh, finish. The accent at the bottom looks really good with more of that Vader chrome. It just looks really, really good. I love this. Again, it's nice and big. We do have this beautiful color on it as well. It's kind of like a dark gray, but it still has like some bluish to it. It looks black sometimes, um, but it's just, it's really an ultimate experience to see this finish um, compared to your traditional Denali, which Chrome, I get it. It's great. It looks ostentatious because that's what the Denali trim is, but this is like beyond. So Denali is like, if you're a millionaire, you, sometimes you're kind of flashy, when you go ultimate, you're like a billionaire. You 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 know you have the money. <laughs> That's kind of what this finish, that feel gives me. But yeah, this looks great. Let's go ahead and see what we have under this massive hood. We get under the hood and we have the 6.2 liter V8 cranking out 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It is connected to the 10-speed auto. And then with this being the ultimate, it is only available in the four-wheel drive option. Now. This V8 is big, it sounds big, it behaves big. <laughs> yeah, we're getting, uh, we're getting a good amount of power. It just responds really quickly, like you would expect a naturally aspirated V8 to, to behave. It sounds great. Did I tell you it sounds great? Because it does sound great. Uh, but you know, when you're wanting to be nice and calm, it's really quiet when you give it the go button pedal it really really screams so it sounds great um but yeah overall it's been a great power plant uh, i've enjoyed it yeah gas consumption is uh, 14 city 20 uh highway and 16 combined um yeah i mean not much that you can ask for from a big v8 like this but there is a 3.0 liter turbo diesel option that one does have 277 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque, uh, also through a 10-speed auto. Um, I'd probably go that just for the resale value for, uh, you know, 756 mile <laughs> range on one tank with the uh, Yukon XL um, trim. But yeah, it's been, it, it's good. It's a good V8 though. Let's go ahead and check what we have in those wheels and tires. We get down to the wheel and tire package and we have this massive 22 inch wheel and it is wrapped in the 275 50 Bridgestone tire. Now, a couple of things with this. First, the design is really nice. It's a very aggressive look to it. There's different kind of plays on, on layering as well. So some, some things are kind of sunken in, others are sticking out a little bit more and others are just kind of at a middle neutrals, but it just looks really, really nice. I love that 3D feel it has to the wheel. And a couple of things, so we do have like a chrome finish, we do have like a painted finish, and unfortunately, uh, yeah, <laughs> for this one, looks like uh, one of my colleagues might have 
rubbed a little bit too much. So yeah, unfortunately the tire didn't protect that. Um, so just be careful because <laughs> these guys are big. Um, but not sure why, because that camera system is just so good at making sure you don't hit your wheels. So yeah, someone's to blame for poor driving because you have the tools in there to make sure this doesn't happen. But overall, the feel is really good. The, the ride is super smooth uh, with these tires. There's not a lot of noise. We do have the air suspension in this. So right now it is at the tallest setting um, and it can go from tallest to what they call, I believe, off-road and then normal and then entry uh, exit level. So it really goes down low to make climbing out a lot easier. Uh, with this though, it was actually kind of surprising because the suspension, I expected a little bit softer, uh, kind of more literally riding on air, but it was a little bit stiffer and gave you a little bit more feedback than you typically see um, with something like this, which I liked. I personally liked. Uh, my wife didn't complain about it, so that usually means it's a good sign. Uh, but yeah, it's overall, it's, it was a great suspension system. The other thing with this is the brakes, the pedal is a little bit on the stiff side. So you have to really give it a lot of pressure to, to get the brakes to bite even more. Uh, the way I can describe it is like if you have a performance car with like carbon ceramic brakes, those things love heat. You have to really put a lot of heat in them. Think of, think of that pedal feel that you get when they're cold and you're just like really needing to mash the pedal. That's kind of what I got with this. Yeah, I wish it were a little bit more comfortable for everyday driving. Um, but, you know, even when I was mashing them and giving them a lot of pressure, it wasn't they weren't warming up and giving me a different feel. Well, let's go ahead and see what we have on the side. We get to the side and we can see, yeah, this, this thing is big. Not as big as the XL, but it's still a good, massively sized, full-sized SUV. Uh, and let's get started on first on a couple of things. First, that titanium rush metallic color. Yeah, it looks really nice. The sun's about to peek out a little bit, so you might get a little bit of a shine to kind of see that depth to this color. Um, but yeah, we can see here when we take a look at the 22s, they really are the size you need for a big SUV like this to really look good, especially when you're in that Denali trim you want to show off, have that kind of luxury feel to it. So it definitely sets it off there. And again, we have it at the highest setting. We'll go up and down so you guys can take a look at the differences. Nice GMC badge here. We do have that Vader chrome trim on this, uh, which follows down here to this kind of like side blade, so to speak. Um, it's a shame the Denali badging doesn't have it in that color. So I wish this one had it like that. And same goes for the surrounding trim because you guys know how much I love having, uh, you know, black trim around the windows. So I wish it would have still carried that theme all around that as well. But overall, it's a really nice looking SUV, very big as well, big doors to get in, uh, especially with this being a third row, you wanna have that big rear door. Now I have my key fob in my pocket. This is a little tricky. So uh, I put my hand and it's not gonna open up. It does. There is no sensor. You do have a button. Thankfully you have four buttons, one on each door that you can just push them and they will open up. So I'll go ahead and do that. And they open up and I can go in and you can see like royalty, <laughs> you get the deployable step uh, down there. Now it is illuminated as well. So it is a nice touch, especially at night uh, when, you know, we want to make sure that we step correctly or just to, to light the way, so to speak. Um, but yeah, we have that. We can go ahead and push the button to, to lock it. And yeah, it unlocked. I technically unlocked it and I'll explain soon why, but I'll show you in the back again, we do that, step deploys as well, and we can go ahead and close this off and lock it. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock it <sighs> because the big kind of gripe I have with this is if I unlock it, let's simulate like if I'm going in, whatever, I grabbed what I needed to. Once I'm gonna start walking away, it automatically locked. Yeah, so, <laughs> my thing with this is 
if you, and, and that's something you program in the infotainment system, but my thing is if I can step away from it and you lock, why can't I get near you and you unlock? Come on, GMC, you were, you were halfway there. When, <laughs> when, I, when I saw the, the option, I was like, oh cool, it can do this. But yeah, it can't do the opposite, come on. Because we really want to have that option. Well, let's go ahead and let me, let me hop in and I will bring this down to the lowest uh, setting for the air suspension. Wow, that was a huge difference in height. Uh, train's about to pass, so before we before that happens, um, yeah, just want to let you know, it's significantly lower, we can see that, so let's go to the back. We get to the back and we can see this thing is big. It really is American sized, as full sized SUV. Um, but yeah, it's nice and big. So there's a couple of great things to this. So first we have the tail lights, they're LEDs. I wish they were transparent because we do have a red finish, but we have some really cool design elements inside that would have been, would have translated a little bit better if they were transparent on the outside. But yeah, really nice design. And then we have the nice little spoiler up top. We do have a hidden wiper, which is a nice touch uh, to give you the most visibility in the back. It's also for another little reason too, which we'll get to soon. Um, the, we have the Vader Chrome accents there and down here as well. And again, I wish these had that finish. I don't know if it's an option. I may be, I, it may be an option that I didn't look into too much, but we also have the backup camera here, which can turn into the tow camera because this guy can tow, I believe is 8,000 pounds or so. Um, and we have the rear view mirror camera. Yes, that's been on 99% of the times. Um, and then that one time when I just kind of wanted to check on my little kiddo, I uh, turned it off, but it's just been great. It's really easy to see, especially in the rain. <laughs> it's easier to have that than to try to see out of this window or really any window. It's not necessarily this specific one, but it's just easier to see in low light as well as in, um, you know, inclement weather like this. But yeah, we have this rear and it looks nice. I really like the, the finish. Now, let me grab the key fob because you pop that. The reason why we have that mirror, that wiper up there is because you can open this guy up. Yeah, one of the coolest things with the Yukon is you have that function. The other day, I literally wanted to just grab a bag, did that and went ahead and just closed it and I was good to go. Now, if it's a bigger item, then obviously you can just push the larger option and have that open up there. And when we open it up, there's a good amount of space here. It's not super large when we have the um, seats up, but not a problem because we can literally just put the seats down and we do have a 40-60 split on this and you can haul significantly more. This does have captain's chairs. So just be aware that anything, if you put this down, there are things that in an emergency or, or heartbreaking can shift to the forward, to forward, which is kind of why it's not my favorite to have captain's chairs, but we can go ahead and bring that guy up. And like I said, plenty of space there. We go ahead and we push this guy there because we are in the entry level of the air suspension. That's actually very reachable. <laughs> that button's very reachable to just get that closed. And yeah, it's pretty good. Now, let's take a look at the key fob again because my favorite button from this is the remote start. So we have dual, dual exhaust tips. So yeah, quad tips. Let's go ahead and push the button twice. <laughs> that big V8 definitely gets roaring. Uh, let's hop in really quick because it's uh, starting to rain a bit. You get inside of the Yukon Denali Ultimate and you can see why it's labeled as the Ultimate. This thing is incredible. Let's get started. So we get on the door and the door is the same shape, you know, design as we had in the other Yukon Denali, but there's been touches that have been upgraded. The wood, the wood finish in this is incredible. I love the color, I love the feel, I love the look. It's just really, really great finish to this Ultimate. And we also have this leather that just looks 
unbelievable. That big stitching it has just looks perfect. It really does. I love the bigger stitching. It's not a fine, it's like, no, look, I am here. <laughs> so it is a great design aspect to it. Uh, the only thing though is it is comfortable down here, but when I keep putting my hat, my arm up here, I keep hearing a little kind of clacking sound. I thought it was loose, but it's not. It's just, I guess the something is, it's just making it make a weird sound that was just kind of a bit annoying. So I've just been resting my arm down here, but yeah, it's been great. Then we get over to the seats and the seats are just unbelievable. They really are. They have a great finish to them. The color looks great. The shape looks great. The feel is great. It's, it's ultimate. It's ultimate. It really is. So, and when we get started literally from the top, we have the Bose speakers on the headrest. Uh, and they sound really good. It's It's got 18 speakers and those are four <laughs> that you're seeing right there. Uh, and it's a subtle thing. So it's not super like, you know, like, cause obviously they're gonna be tweeters from that size. They're not super like tinny or anything like that. It is a subtle sound to them, which is good. And then we come over here to the, to the backrest area and we have the elevation map of Denali and it looks really good with the ultimate uh, metal badging right in there. It's just a really great touch to it. And they're super comfortable. And we have both heated and cooled options and as well as massage. The only thing with massage is you have to activate it here. Okay, it's a little bit of a confusing thing. So you're thinking, cool, I activated it with that. And let me just, oh no, it says use a controller on your seat to adjust this feature. I can't just control it from here let me just do it from here come on gmc it, it should let me do it from right in there but either way i'm getting cooled i'm getting massaged i'm enjoying this filming of this review <laughs> so i'm at ease i'm nice and calm i'm in paradise right now and then we get to the steering wheel the steering wheel is not that much of a paradise yeah i really wish they would have done a little bit more with this giving it the ultimate treatment what i mean by that is well the shape is nice and big it's very simple it's obviously the exact same thing as the regular uh yukon uh denali and the stitching is good nothing bad but it's not ultimate you're paying for ultimate give me ultimate this missed opportunity here on the on the wheel itself to have given me that beautiful wood we have throughout the the denali ultimate so i really would have loved to have that trim right in here and we do have the controls on the right for the gauge cluster and on the left we have for the cruise control system yeah we don't have super cruise in this due to availability is what gmc says uh, i would have loved it in this it would have definitely have been the ultimate and you definitely want to get the uh, super cruise option in this because it is just so so good at driving in fact it's better than some drivers <laughs> at driving but yeah it's kind of a shame i would have liked to have that then we get over to the gauge cluster and the gauge cluster is nice it's a digital full digital display and you do have a ton of options you can really make this um, you know customizable right now i have it in what they call the progressive mode which lets you uh well display layout so you have the classic which is going to give you the round dials uh, to that um, but honestly I like my progressive style and then inside of the dials themselves you can add different things so I can see my my PSI you know especially on a road trip you want to make sure your tires aren't losing air or anything like that and then my fuel economy on the right hand side um, and then at the bottom we have different flexibility you have so in this case you can you can put you know your oil temperature your water temperature your gas it just a lot of information which is great especially if you decide to use this to tow things then we get over to the shifter yes <laughs> and uh buttons uh and yeah we have the shifter right here on the dashboard um honestly i would have liked the column shifter instead this is great though you still get you'll get used you'll have to get used to it a little bit but once you do it's going to be very easy to use but the reason why i would have liked a, a column shifter is because when we get over to this to the infotainment screen it's big but i feel like we could have just used this up 
thrown the column shifter here and enjoyed an even bigger screen, a bigger screen like we do in the Silverado. I know, I know, it's still a great looking screen because it has that matte finish, but it's still super, super bright. And it's just a really great system. It's been really quick. We have wireless Apple CarPlay, uh, which is great because again, yeah, we're gonna have something a little bit uh, further down that is almost a necessity to have. But yeah, it's really great system. Love the screen. It's been great. You know, we have the, the 360 camera view on the left side to see on this big screen, all the different views that, that this Yukon has um, to make sure you're parking this thing right. You're not gonna hit anything, um, but it's just been a great, great camera system especially again with this nice big screen we come a little bit lower we have your your radio controls no issues there very simple and a little bit lower we have the climate control system v again very simple very straight to the point no issues there we have our buttons here for the heated seats and for the cooled option rear uh, cooling system or rear uh, ac system controls or climate controls there no issues a little bit lower this is what I was talking to you about. We have the wireless charger. Yes, this has a wireless charger. And again, combined with the wireless Apple CarPlay works really, really well. It's my phone's been charging right now. I was at 20% about, uh, I'd say 20 minutes ago and yeah, it's going up. So this actually works and I'm doing wireless Apple CarPlay and I'm doing music. So <clears throat> I know some wireless chargers are just kind of really holding your charge. This one's actually charging it. So good to see that we come a little bit back and we have the cup holders the cup holders are nice and big uh, maybe a little too big because my water bottle kind of moves around a little bit uh, here but it's still gonna stay in its place so that's not a problem there uh, and also we do have these wooden covers for both of those sections there which are really nice again that beautiful uh, Denali ultimate wood finish we come back a little bit more and we have the armrest, which is nice and big. It has that beautiful stitching that I love, that big stitching. Um, gosh, I want to say it's like hex stitching or something like that. I don't know. I, I, I'm not a seamstress, but it just looks great. Missed opportunity. We do have a little area here for a phone. Missed opportunity to have a secondary wireless charger. That would have been nice. I know aftermarket does offer it. So look for those and uh, do it because it really is a convenient option to have a second wireless charge there but we open this guy up and we have a good amount of space we actually have this little box here which i thought was my wife's uh so i opened it up wondering what is in here and turns out it's the bluetooth bose spe uh, headphones because yeah there's something back there that would be better with this but you can see it's a fairly fairly medium-sized box that fits there now you got that full and you still need more storage or just want to have something up here you go ahead and press a button up here and that guy starts to move yeah so <laughs> so the armrest moves back and we have additional storage here um now you it's not something you'd put there and then close it because yeah it's, it's taking up that space but if you just don't need the armrest and just want to have a bag here no no issues there because it's a good amount of size you also have a little drawer in here for maybe a small iPad or something like that. Uh, yeah, I'd say a small iPad would fit in there. But yeah, it's nice. I like it. It's nice and comfortable. Oh, and if you have cups, you can put the cups in the back there uh, of the armrest and then just move it back to hand it to your rear passengers. And then speaking about your rear passengers, we have with this being a third row, three row SUV, we do have the second row is captain's chairs. So we have those there beautiful uh, again just like the front seats they look great they're super comfortable and they have a rear entertainment system so they do have screens behind the front seats and thank you gmc so this does have google play uh store the app store so that is going to let you download apps on there so thank you for having a system and not just screens. So right now it does have YouTube Kids, regular YouTube, and Hulu. Uh, I don't know which others you can install because unfortunately there is no login for, for this um, kind of preloaded. So I, I don't know exactly what 
things, but I'm assuming like Netflix. It's got to have Netflix, but you have that. And thank you again. And so again, use the Bose wireless uh, headphones to be able to use that. But again, thank you for having a system that's just not, you know, not just a screen. That's what every rear entertainment system needs. It needs an operating system in it. Then we get to the third row and third row is good. It's not super big. It would be bigger in the XL, uh, which we've driven and loved, but it's nice and comfortable. <clears throat> and if you're just needing to get people in there, they'll be fine. The rear storage, again, was great. It would be ultimate in the XL, <laughs> in the XL size, uh, because you just have that much more. But if you're needing it, you can always put the seat down. I think it's like 60, 40 split, and you do have tons of space to put larger items in the back. Now let's talk performance. We're dealing with the 6.2 liter V8 cranking out 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. It is connected to the 10-speed auto and then with this being the Denali Ultimate, it is available only in the four-wheel drive model. Now this thing sounds great. With that remote start in the morning, I didn't need a little beep or anything to let me know this is, this is, you know, that my remote start worked. Unlike I did with some hybrids. I had to go out. Hey, are you on? <laughs> no, this thing is like, no, I'm definitely on. And we have the different drive modes here uh, on the left. We have the uh, normal sport off road and then tow haul. So we'll go ahead and switch to sport. And this also has the air suspension. So the suspension gives you four different modes. We have the normal, we have the entry exit, we have the normal, we have the increased, and then the maximum ground, which uh, you have to be in off-road and I believe four low to unlock that, so to speak. But this thing has been incredible. Uh, from a stop, it's not the fastest, but once you get it moving and it roars, it sounds so good. <laughs> that V8 sounds so good. Now, the other thing are the brakes. The brakes on this, yeah, that pedal is so stiff. It feels like uh, like in a performance car that has like carbon ceramic brakes and you drive it out in the cold and you haven't warmed them up. That's how that pedal feels where you're putting pressure on it and it's taking a good amount of pressure to get it to stop not that it won't stop it just requires significantly more pressure it really does and yeah you're definitely going to get a workout don't don't bother buying a, a gym membership just get a yukon denali ultimate and your legs will be your well your right leg <laughs> your right leg will be uh really buff <laughs> but yeah it just Gosh, that V8 sounds so good. And again, it's, you know, it's not the smallest of SUVs, so don't expect to really, uh, you know, get this going out on the track because, yeah, you wouldn't want to take this out on the track. But to take the track toys, yes, this thing is really the ultimate hauling experience. It really feels great. It is nice and now the suspension isn't going to be as soft as others it does feel which is surprising because with when you have air suspension it, you're kind of literally like floating on air but this one is a little bit stiffer it's a it gives you a little bit more feedback i personally like it my wife hasn't complained so that means we're still good <laughs> but it wasn't like our land rover uh, that we reviewed the the Range Rover or the uh, Discovery where that suspension and even the oh gosh Defender so those suspensions were super soft and plush this is gonna give you a little bit more feedback and I say feedback it's not as much as oh you're gonna feel the road yes you're gonna feel the road but you're yeah I'm purposely hitting the <laughs> the unpaved parts of it but it's good, it's good, it's not gonna be anything really bad. But overall, this has been incredible. <sighs> yes, you're paying more for the Ultimate, but the Ultimate is already going to include some of the things that Denali Option 
you know, the not regular Denali are going to be as option. And then you're also going to get some exclusive things in this. Again, like the finish uh, on the wood, the bow system, just the ultimate feel really <laughs> but this has been great i man i was i was hoping i was like man i want to drive the yukon again and what better yukon to drive than the denali ultimate it really has been well guys i hope you've enjoyed my review of the yukon denali ultimate remember find the right gears see ya